M.I. Schloss, and I just found a quirk with the iMovie as I have been importing pictures in, and basically, uh, just to show you really quick, if you go up to, and by the way, I'm, just to let you know, guys, I'm on iMovie version 10.08, 10.0.8, so just to let you know that. Um, if you're following along, if you go on to iPhotos or even your photos library and you click on any one of these photos and you go ahead and import it in and you go back here, uh, as you can see there's green screen, there's no picture, in fact it doesn't even appear in your, um, in your event library. So these are fine because I have a workaround and I imported them in another way but this one is not because of the green screen so in order to get them to show up properly the only thing that I have found is to go into um, your Photoshop or any other photo editor that you have and basically take any of these JPEGs um, that we're trying to work with which are not working very nicely with the iMovie system and go ahead then and export them out to either a PNG or I have also found that a PDF has worked. Um, i trying to find one that's a PDF but uh, I think I closed it. Anyway, we can go through this one, let's say, which is 0546 JPEG. Simply open it up, do a file, save as, and then go ahead and save it to a PNG file. See, that's already been done because I did this before. Um, and then go ahead and hit save and then hit OK. Just um, accept the defaults and hit OK. OK. And then if we go back to iMovie and click on Import, we should have the latest one here. If not, what you'll have to do is um, close that and go ahead and import that again. there it is. It takes a second to come on in, kind of regroup itself, and then um, so choose PNG, that's the one we imported, import selected, and then there it is, it renders it. You can see it importing it in. And now if we click on the plus and add it to our timeline, you will see that there's no green screen. You see this is the green that was the um, the file with the error on it and this is the correct way to do it so again you're gonna have to go through a either Photoshop or you're gonna have to um, go to another type of photo editing I'm sure uh, a number of them do PNG conversions um, I did read on some of the bulletin boards that it could be um, due to the fact that some of these JPEGs are very high in image quality, 5 megs and over. I don't know. I think the PNG might compress them. Uh, but this is the only way that I have found to, uh, again, bring it into iMovie and it not corrupting and not being a green screen. There's your green screen, the one that's not working. So that's it, guys. I uh, just wanted to let you know that. And um, hope this helps for other people that are using iMovie. I'm using it for YouTube, of course, so anything that helps uh, out that I find, I will go ahead and post this up, okay? Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.